Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, knocking out another case, our last case of 2024 Fanatics Under Wraps NFL Draft Mini Helmets, 8 box, random team number 2. Now, they do say that all 32 teams are represented, but we looked on the checklist, right, Seattle is missing, so we kind of reworked the spots a little bit, so it's only a 31 spotter. But still nice, still some nice stuff in there, even without Seattle, so we're only selling 29 spots outright. Oh, you know what? Why, don't, why are we missing a spot? No, yeah, only 29 spots outright. It's only 31 spots. I'm just confusing myself here. So, two of the 29 spots are going to get two extra spots. That's the first dice roll. Second dice roll will be the uh, randomizer for teams. So, top two after four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Eight and nine. After nine times, uh, Steve and Peter, extra spots going your way. After nine. All right, so now let's gather all of your names for, uh, and we'll randomize you a team. Again, you can see no Seattle on here. And let's roll it, randomize it, six and a five, 11 times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, then final time. Peter down to David after 11. And then six and a five, 11 times for the teams. Again, only 31 because we took out Seattle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And final time. After eleven, we got the uh, Titans down to the Lions. All right, Peter with the Titans, Steve with the Vikings, Patrick with the Jets, Randy with the Saints, Kenneth with the Bears. Adam with the Chiefs, Yanka with the Eagles, Adam with the Commanders, Steve with the Ravens, Adam with the Bengals, Eugene with the Cardinals, Adam with the Patriots, Kenneth with the Jaguars, Kenneth with the Panthers, Patrick has the Jaguars, David Laspod Mojo, Dallas, Pat with my Raiders, Adam with the Green Bay Packers, Eugene with the Broncos, David with the Steelers, Steve with the Chargers, Adam with the Texans, David with the Giants and Browns, Yanka with the Dolphins, Peter with the Buccaneers, Steve with the Bills, Patrick with the Falcons, Steve with the Colts, Patrick with the Rams, Ryan with the Niners, and David with the Detroit Lions. We're going to sort alphabetically by team. We're going to pause the video for a little bit for the trade window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. Look at this. There was a deal done between Ryan and David. Ryan is out of the Niner spot. He put the offer out there. San Fran for the Giants. So we'll put a T there for trade. Let's see who draws first blood in that trade. And David with the Niners spot. All right, we got the case right here. Let's do it. Let me actually change my camera settings here. We're gonna we're gonna live with the uh, we're gonna live with the autofocus for this break. That's because there's a lot going on here. You should be able to see on my face camera the box. I'm gonna keep it on the cart. You got the, we've been showing you the checklist. We got the checklist here as well. You know the major players in here already, right? And there's, there's some of the past and present right there as well. All right, here's the final printout. Thanks everybody for getting in. Autofocus? Oh, it wants to focus. There you go. You saw this previous screen, but there, but there's the official trade right there. All right, and if you feel like putting your thinking caps on, I'll give you some quick, mostly easy clues 
Uh, mostly easy clues for uh, Who Am I? America's favorite game. You can see on the top camera right there the, the cool way these open up. We've got a little card right on top that'll tell me who the player is. It's kind of a small checklist, so if you're watching the uh, the first break, you're probably gonna probably gonna be some repeats because it's a small checklist, and you're probably gonna remember these details. All right, uh, wide receiver, rookie. This upcoming rookie wide receiver, second team All SEC, went to LSU for a few seasons, picked in the first round, late first round. Six three two oh nine ran a four three three forty. Who am I? Uh, he, I led the uh, FBS in touchdown catches in twenty twenty three. Tell who to settle? I... Oh, were they making noise? Ooh. So it's Brian Thomas Jr. from LSU, drafted by the Jaguars. You got a special helmet here. We haven't seen a lot, a lot of the special helmets in the first case. And here's one here. We got the NFL draft shield on there. You got a little bit of an inscription here, his number. What the? Got a nice old draft helmet. That's pretty cool. Brian Thomas Jr., Jaguars. I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah, no, we haven't. I don't, I don't think the first case had any specialty helmets. Oh, you heard one of them yell. Rex, I'm so locked into this break, I, you know, I'm, I don't hear what's going on elsewhere. It's called being a professional, Rex. All right, and the Jaguars, that is for Patrick. You're in break two. Next box. Ryan, I feel like you might be lagging behind just a tiny bit. Uh, maybe you and everybody else, make sure you're, you have the live button on so you can participate in Who Am I and share in the delight of the big hits together. Who Am I is the best part. Who Am I is the best part. They're Amer America's favorite game. All right. We've got a uh, current, a non-rookie, a vet player here. Drafted in the second round back in 2018, a 5'11", 227, that's a, that's a stout dude. 5'11", 227, running back. Went to Georgia, played for one team my entire career. Um, at, since 2018, I currently have 6,511 rushing yards, 48 rushing touchdowns, 123 receptions, a little over 1,000 yards and four receiving touchdowns. Four-time Pro Bowler, back in college, first team all SEC. SEC Freshman of the Year. Second team all SEC. Pretty solid player. Ran a 4, four five two forty. 40. Pretty quick for my size as well. Only managed two games last year after a knee injury. But I think it should be, should be back this year. Yeah, he had a torn MCL, damaged ACL. But the season before that, in 2022, played all 17 games, rushed for over 1,500 yards, had 12 touchdowns, 
27 catches, 239 yards for, for a touchdown. Only one fumble lost. Who am I? Think of your Georgia running backs from 2018 that are pretty successful this year. Or has been pretty successful. Patrick, you got it. Big Nick Chubb. Big Nick Chubb. For David, Big Boys 007 and the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. There he is. Cool Browns helmet. This is actually a dark brown color right here. Sort of a matte finish on this helmet too. I like it. All these have the, the authentication stickers on the back as well. I'm not sure what his status is for 2024, but hopefully he'll be back healthy. There you go, David. Next box. We got a retired player. All right, a former linebacker. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio, 6'3", 238. Went to Boston College and ended up a first round pick in 2012. A lot of accolades. A total of over a thousand tackles, 12 and a half sacks, 18 interceptions, 66 pass deflections, seven forced fumbles, nine fumble recoveries, two defensive touchdowns, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year, an NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year, first five time first team all pro, seven time pro bowler, two time NFL combined sacks leader, part of the NFL's 2010s all decade team, a three-time Buckus Award winner, a PFWA All-Rookie Teamer, Art Rooney Award winner, the Lombardi Award winner, Lot Trophy, Buckus Award, Jack Lambert Trophy, Unanimous All-American, Consensus All-American, ACC Defensive Player of the Year, three-time First Team All-ACC, my Boston College jersey, retired. Nice, Ryan. You're right, exactly spot on. This is for Kenneth, it's Luke Keekley. Yeah, Patrick got it too. Ryan got it first. And it's a nice helmet here too. Nice big bold autograph. Nice Panther stickers on here as well. Future Hall of Famer, right? I think he only retired just a few years ago. What's he doing now? He retired in 2019, was an executive for the Panthers to 2021. Yeah, not sure what he's doing now, but... Nice Luke Keekley. Once again, that will be for Kenneth and Carolina. All right, 
right, there you go, Ken. From break break two, that one's going to be yours. All right, we got a recently drafted running back. Fourth rounder, born in Chicago, 5'9", 192. Uh, spent a season in Minnesota before going to Oregon. Jason Jaspi might know this player. Second team all Pac-10 in 2023. A 4'5", 5'40". And, uh, and I feel like, you know, I'm looking at some top stories. Foreman, Oregon, Duck Star, opening eyes with this team. This team's looking like a total steal for this team. You know, so maybe you might make some noise. Yeah, good job, Patrick. It's Bucky Irving. Marquise Bucky Irving. It's for the Buccaneers. And that's going to be for Peter with a spot that he won. Nice Buccaneers helmet. Got like a nice metallic sheen right there. Ooh. And white out ink autograph. That's pretty cool. There you go. Got a good focus on that. All right, so congrats, Peter, Buccaneers. Nice, we'll see him, hopefully, be successful this year. It'll be good for the hobby. And that's with an extra spot. And Peter won the extra spot coming in handy. All right, halfway through the break. Got four more to go. Fingers crossed, everybody. We don't have any more of these to post, but I think Instagram might have loose boxes for personals if, that, if anybody just wants to snag a helmet for their own. Uh, this player apparently is a potential battle at the running back position. Improving rapidly in the preseason. Trending up after this team's second preseason game. At getting extra reps. He recently drafted a uh, running back. Was in Oregon for a couple seasons, then went to Florida State. A third round pick. And a second team all ACC two times. 2022-2023, foot, 216 pound running back. A 4-3-9-40. Who am I? There you go, Patrick's good at this. Trey Benson. Clean white helmet here. Trey Benson's autograph right over the Cardinal. Michael Jaspi likes this one. 
And Trey Benson, Cardinals, that's for Eugene. I gotta start doing some fantasy football research. Another box. Right. Another newly drafted player from Chandler, Arizona, 62208, went to two colleges in my career, drafted in the seventh round, and was second team all Pac 12, was a USC wide receiver. Had 644 yards, 37 catches in, 12, in 11 games, 11 touchdowns, 4 5 40. This team could use the receivers. Drafted by the Chargers in the seventh round out of USC. You know, you didn't have to go very far. I'm not sure what's what's the what's the buzz on this player. Do we have any news on this player here? Not really. He's not making doesn't seem to be making as much noise as the others. Yeah, it's Brandon Rice for the Chargers. There he is. Yeah, Chargers kind of let a lot of pass catchers walk, leaving that wide receiver room a little, a little thin. I think they're, you know, Harbaugh definitely likes to run, so they're gonna kind of be a run first team. But they still need some pass catchers. Let's see what. Let's see who emerges. Could be Brandon Rice. Could be Quentin Johnson after kind of a rough rookie year. So we'll see. Steve Herrick with the Chargers. more to go. According to Sports Illustrated, this, uh, this running back is already named a steal by an NFL draft analyst. He's yoked. Is he yoked? 6'1", 235. From Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Went to Wisconsin. Was drafted in the fourth round. Three-time, second-team, all-Big Ten player. I don't have a 40. He didn't run the 40. No, no 40 time for him. Who's the best one you guys have done so far? 
Luke Keighley was in here. We had Roma Dunze in the first case, and Caleb Williams in the first case. Close, Rex. You got the last name right. Keenan Allen's not a running back, though. Fourth round, running back out of Wisconsin. Not Keelan Allen, not Keenan Allen, but Braylon Allen, Rex. This is gonna be fun. My uncle was a first time. Jets running back, Jets. That's Patrick got randomized the Jets in break two. Got a nice auto as well. Good to see a little preview of the of the autos that we can possibly get out of 2024 football product coming up later this year. All right, final uh, final box, eighth and final box. Thanks everybody for making it happen. Appreciate you. I think Instagram has personal boxes still available. All right. All right, last one. We have a quarterback from Washington, D.C., 6'1", 215. Went to two colleges my entire career. A Heisman Trophy Award winner, a Maxwell Award winner, Walter Camp Award winner, AP College Football Player of the Year, Sporting News College Football Player of the Year, Unanimous All-American, Pac-12, Offensive Player of the Year, a first team all Pac 12er, and a second team all Big 12 in the season before going to the Pac 12. Last year, not so sharp, but the season before, 4,500 yards, you know, 42 touchdowns. 42 touchdowns, she still had 30 touchdowns last year. And rushed for 382 yards. Yep, Caleb Williams. Bears, Kenneth. There you go. Now, we saw Caleb Williams in the first case, and that was just your standard Bears helmet. Still cool. Do we have a specialty helmet or an inscription? We do have a specialty helmet. Nice. NFL draft helmet. Caleb Williams, number one pick inscription. Nice. There you go, and that'll do it. Bears, Kenneth, congrats. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining the break. Thanks for playing. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.